WorkSharp presents the Northwest Outdoorsman. Let's just get in that little jar right there, this first one, and go down. <laughs> yeah, baby. Right on. Right on, huh? Nice fish. That's a nice cooking. That is awesome. Oh, my goodness. Going down. Boom. Oh, yeah. Got him. Now we're having fun. I'm having lots of fun. Anytime I can go fishing, I'm having fun. Yep. First day. See if he's a good enough one to shoot. Let's go see if we can catch him. Okay. This week on the Northwest Outdoorsman. Um, not as many as yesterday. There was only probably two. Michelle Harrod learns that persistence pays when hunting mule deer bucks. Some lemon chicken. It's not going where we wanted it to go. Oh, the one, the one just hopped over the thing even. Real windy. See, see my deer? Look at that. WorkSharp presents the Northwest Outdoorsman brought to you by Max Lure, Sportsman's Warehouse, Whitewater Lodge, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, Micklich, Wolf Creek Hunting, Hunting is a many generations tradition in the Herod family. Passing hunting skills and knowledge about living in the woods is common between father and son. But few Herod women have shown interest in this legacy. Michelle Herod started hunting with her father at an early age, and her passion for the outdoors has grown as strong as any of the men in the family. Unsuccessful hunts in the past few years have taught her great patience and to pay attention to detail. Finally, her efforts to become a skilled hunter pay off in a way not imagined. Dad, thing's big. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Start walking. So when I was 12 or 13, we went on my first deer hunt and I um, shot a little tiny white-tailed buck. <laughs> it was barely a buck, but it was. <laughs> the next deer we got was a doe and I hunted out by Wenatchee that year. So the only uh, um, small branch antler buck that I got was a little three point. It was close to home, but that was about in 2007, so it was a while ago. And I, yeah, I haven't shot a deer since. <laughs> Hunting with no luck. <laughs> I've really enjoyed teaching Michelle to be a hunter She's always just loved being in the mountains. We were fortunate early on to get a few youth any deer tags, but after she shot that three point, she went off to college and, and really just didn't have much time to hunt. While I was in college, I didn't get to hunt very often, um, but I think my third or fourth year, I got to take a break, come home and hunt in the Inuit with my dad. We got up, hiked in the dark for a while. Once it got light, we could see all the beautiful fall colors. It was nice to be back. We spent some time hiking an old logging road for a while. So we hiked around the ridge on the road and finally saw some deer. So I was excited because I thought there was gonna be a buck. We got all ready, glass and some more, and turned out they were all does, no bucks. So about mid-morning, we kind of took a little break, had a small fire, it started to rain on us a little bit. After a while, we packed up and headed out slowly. During the evening, we hiked up this draw. We were glassing the top of the ridge line, saw some deer come out. Again, no bucks, just does. So 
the first evening that we got there, we had the campfire. It's good for barbecuing the hamburgers. Too bad it couldn't have been a fresh steak. Yeah, just a bunch of does. A lot of tracks, a lot of poops. No bucks. So the next morning we got up, hiked to another drainage that we hadn't hiked to before. There was a lot of deer sign, but no deer. It's pretty warm that day, so they weren't gonna show. <laughs> yeah, and maybe while we were coming over here, we scared them that way. The weekend went by pretty quickly. We didn't get to do much as I had hoped. So I had to go back to school. So we tore down camp, and that was all I got for the year. The next year we hunted at a really beautiful spot um, up near Lake Chelan. Look. Your truck? Mm-hmm. Which way should I go? Beautiful country out there. We were looking over Lake Chelan. Coming up after the break. Saw a lot of bear tracks. Dad found a moose track. He's got in a new place. Yep. In the bushes. Workshop presents the Northwest Outdoorsman brought to you by Max Lure, Sportsman's Warehouse, Whitewater Lodge, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, Micklich, Wolf Creek Hunting. Welcome back to Michelle's Deer Hunt. The next year we hunted at a really beautiful spot um, up near Lake Chelan. Beautiful country out there. We were looking over Lake Chelan. We'll have to find one on the way back. Because Michelle was in college, I knew she didn't have a lot of time. So I scouted quite a few places trying to find a very likely spot that we could kill a buck in a day or two. Something moving over there. Oh, really? But it might have been a squirrel. And it just looks like the perfect deer habitat, those high open ridges, lots of places that you might find a big deer. What did we see there? Um, nothing. Saw a lot of bear tracks. Dad found a moose track. There's some deer tracks, but they weren't fresh. Yeah. Not fresh enough. Not very many deer tracks. No. So we tried a different place? Yep. The place that we camped was really nice. That was a beautiful spot to be. Didn't see any deer at all. Again, the weekend was really short. I had to go back to school. I would like to go back there sometime soon. Since we didn't have any luck in our local area, Dad decided to come up and visit me up in Bellingham and see what we could get into up there. I wasn't too hopeful when we went to the Bellingham area because I, I don't know it very well. And, but I was really hoping we might get lucky and, and happen to get something, uh, take advantage of some time she had there at school. What do you think? Um, walk back the other way. What's down that way? Uh, another clear cut like this one. Like the west side, it was really wet the entire time. So we drove around, tried to find some good spot to hunt. We tried to find tracks in the snow or even on the ground, couldn't find much of anything. We did see some black-tailed does, which was different. Oh, the other one just hopped over the thing again. Did it? Yeah. Did the one come back out? Yeah. We found a couple of nice clear cuts up in the Bellingham area, hiked around those, hung out for a while, glassed a little bit, couldn't find anything. It was really fun to hunt in some different country. I've never hunted in the wet area like that before. The weather was just pretty crazy. So last year I was finally out of school. We got some more time to spend hunting. We got a great camp spot. Great area for deer it looked like, but still not much. Some tracks, but not, not much. After a couple of unsuccessful years, in 2015 I scouted another spot near home. I was able to look the country over on a couple of scouting trips. I tried some different ridges and, and looked over some draws and thought I'd found a pretty good place. So 
So in the morning and the evening, we would go out and glass a couple of areas that we thought looked promising. We didn't see anything, nothing, no activity. So one morning we got a little ambitious and decided to go explore some new areas. So we bushwhacked through the mountains a little bit, found a nice spot to stop for a little warming fire and glass a little while. One of the things I look forward to, other than the hunting, is taking a little break, having some snacks, having a little warming fire, figuring out a new plan. When we have a little warming fire, it kind of boosts me mentally, gets me going again, warms me up and gets me thinking. So our last day, kind of our last evening, we were driving around just kind of road scouting for a little while, trying to find a good spot to hike up. And just off the road was this really nice buck. We just didn't get the chance to get out and take a shot at it. So since that was the last day, that was kind of disappointing seeing this really nice big buck and not being able to go after it and kind of left me on a cliffhanger for the year. Coming up after the break, Dad, I think I got him. WorkSharp presents the Northwest Outdoorsman brought to you by Max Lure, Sportsman's Warehouse, Whitewater Lodge, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, Micklich, Wolf Creek Hunting. Welcome back to Mule Deer Hunting. So when we were deciding on where to hunt this past fall, we decided to go back to the place where I got my first buck ever. It was about nine years ago, which is a while ago. Look at that, yeah. Both the kids were 14 or 15 when they first shot their buck. And I know that those are special memories that last a lifetime. Yes. We figured out a long time ago that being with family and friends on your outdoor adventures makes it much more enjoyable. This is opening day. We got up early, hiked out the old logging road in the dark, went to the spot that I got my first buck and kept hiking around. So as we hiked out the road, we waited at a couple spots, enjoyed the sunrise, waited for it to get shooting light. So we got to the spot where I shot my first deer and we saw some deer right in that same area, right on the same little knoll where I shot the first one. So that was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> no bucks, no bucks. There was no bucks that time, but there were three or four does hanging around there. I thought it was going to be the same as the first time that I, you know, got my deer since we were in the same spot. There was those deer in the same exact spot. It was kind of like a replay of the first, first time I got my deer. We continued on from that spot where I saw those deer. We got to a nice spot to glass in the road. We saw a deer about two ridges away. Um, we spotted it with our naked eye, so we weren't really sure if it was a buck or if it was just a doe. We decided to hike down the middle ridge to get a better view of it. There's like this game trail up and across right where he is. He comes across the face of a 
So that morning was pretty dewy. Hiking down that middle ridge was pretty slick, really slippery. Even at times grabbing on the bushes, hanging on. <laughs> So as we came up that middle ridge, we came up pretty slow. It took me a while to see where it actually was. It was kind of hidden behind a tree. Walking a little further, stuck up a little more, and I finally saw it, and I was so excited. I had never seen a buck like that before. It was great. Should we try to shoot again? Oh yeah, I definitely had buck fever. I couldn't control myself. Got a little nervous again. <laughs> Shot and missed. It went right under his neck. Oh, I see him. Coming up after the break. I got him. Look at that. WorkSharp presents the Northwest Outdoorsman brought to you by Max Lure, Micklich, Harrods Cookhouse. Welcome back. Michelle's quest for a mule deer buck is about to come to a gratifying end. Oh yeah, I definitely had buck fever. I couldn't control myself. Got a little nervous again. <laughs> Shot and missed. It went right under his neck. I could tell that Michelle was letting the excitement of seeing a big buck kind of overtake her a little bit. After that first shot, he kind of moved up behind some trees. So I had to move down the ridge a little bit further to get a, another good angle at him. Oh, I see him. Oh. The second shot was a cording shot and it went through the ribs and impacted the back leg. Can you use your pack? I came up back up to my dad, um, took another shot. Here, try that. We weren't really sure if it was a kill shot or not. He kind of meandered down the hillside. Just take your time and breathe. I was trying to do my best to calm her down, take a breath and, and make a good shot. Oh my gosh. Thankfully that was a kill shot. <laughs> Dad, I think I got it this time. After I took the shot, we watched it for a little while. Finally saw him start to go down. Got really excited. Dad, I think he's going down. Dad, I think I got him. <sighs> Dad, I think I got him. I haven't seen him get up and I don't even know where he is now. Yeah, I see him. I think it's down. Couldn't wait to go over and see him. Um, and then we finally, once we saw him down, we hiked down the ridge and back over to the ridge that he was on. Use it every single show. See, see my deer? Okay. Go that way. This way? You wanna go this way? I see a path. I 
And this hillside is a wet one. Oh, that's a big deer. Yes. This is awesome. Dad, thing's big. Since I was about 200 yards away, I didn't get a great view of the antlers. When I was finally able to pull it out of the bushes, I got really excited. It was a really exciting moment to finally come up on that big buck and see that big branch antler buck right in front of me. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. It's a little four point. Yeah. It was a really nice buck. Um, it was a pretty cool moment. This is awesome. <laughs> I couldn't be any more proud of Michelle getting that big buck. She did a great job. The stock, the setting, everything was just perfect. And especially after all those long years of getting nothing. Nice buck, big body too. We took a bunch of pictures, called the family, told them the exciting news. Because this was my first big branch antler buck, we caped it so my Uncle Ron could mount it for me. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Okay. Ugh, this is heavy. <laughs> when I put it on, it wasn't as heavy as I expected it to be. It's a memory I won't soon forget. Deer hunting is really special to me because I get to spend some time with my family, high ground in the mountains, and finally getting something that you spent so much time working for and all those years and all those hours. It was a really rewarding moment. Now it's time for another Harrods Cookhouse recipe brought to you by Micklitch, the Spokane Spice Company since 1948. Today we're making deer bacon wrap. Start by mixing one pound of deer hamburger with mixture of brown sugar, garlic salt, dried parsley, salt, and pepper. Add half a cup of breadcrumbs, Harrods Cookhouse Northwest Steak Seasoning, diced half an onion, one egg. Add a large dash of ketchup and Worcestershire sauce. Mix completely. Cut sweet onion in half and separate into sections. Pour meat into balls and put inside the onion section. Wrap with two strips of bacon. Place in a 425 degree preheated oven and bake for 40 minutes. Enjoy with barbecue sauce or ketchup. For this and other great recipes, visit the Herod Outdoors website. Tune in next week for another great wild game recipe. That makes it easier. There. Wait, hey, let me help. He's a big deer. Since that was my first big branch antler buck, um, we caped it so my Uncle Ron could mount it for me so I could um, relive that moment over, over and over again. <laughs>